let me use one of the problems that's uh, posted here as an example of a circuit that you will soon be able to analyze. So let's say you have, let's say um, this is a circuit you are given. So here, I want to describe, want to describe what it means to solve a circuit. So when you are given a circuit, some of the parameters will be given. Like in a board game, like a tic-tac-toe and chess, some of the things will be given to you. The rules of the game are given to you. So here, what I want to say is, well, when you have the circuit, you might be given this. So usually the typical values that will be, that will be given to you will be the voltages that will be given. This will be given. Because um, you know, when you are building a circuit, you know what battery you are using. So some voltages will be given. And typically, the resistances will be given. Because um, this marking on the register, um, there are supposed to be rules on reading it so that you can figure out what you know, resistance this is. Or you know, I usually measure it. I don't bother reading it. Um, so these resistances will usually be given. And a description of the setup that gives all these values will have completely determined this setup. And what it means to solve this circuit is for us to figure out, well, what other things are there in the circuit for us to know about, might be interested in. So for example, we might be interested in how long these batteries are going to last. And if we want to know that, we'll have to figure out how quickly the energy is draining from these batteries. Or we might want to know uh, how much these are heating up. Or So there's going to be one particular parameter that we are going to want to know to answer any other questions we might have about this uh, circuit. What is that one um, physical observable or something that we can measure that uh, we would want to be able to figure out from this setup? There's one very particular type of um, quantity that we would, a type of quantity that we would like to know. Yeah, current. So having determined all the voltages, um, actually maybe not all the voltages, so I know the voltage difference here and here, but I don't know the voltage here, right? OK, all right. Uh, but having determined all the resistances, it turns out current is the one information that if we have about the circuit, that any other questions we have about the circuit, we can answer it. So, so here, in this circuit, there are actually uh, I, there can be three different currents. One is already labeled there, and actually I think if you read the problem, this is the given, but whatever. So here's one current, let me label this I1, and there's going to be another set of current that's flowing through this branch, let me label that I2, and there might be another set of current that's flowing through this branch here, let me label that I3. So, so this is how I want to describe solving a circuit. When you have solved a circuit, you will know all these parameters. So that now when someone asks any question about power dissipation or what is the voltage here, at that point it's now a single step process to just answer that based on your knowledge of the uh, voltages and currents of this circuit. Yeah. So, uh, so, so it's a very general problem solving approach. That's why I'm trying to talk in general terms. And what we are going to do now is introduce tools for doing exactly that. Introduce tools for um, if you are given all the voltages and resistances, um, tools for figuring out the current. Or it can be the other way around. In this question, it's actually voltage and this current that's given. And you're supposed to figure out these other things. And you know, it's like, um, I want you to be reminded of the standard strategy in physics 4A. So in physics 4A, it didn't almost matter what kind of problem you're dealing with. If we dealt with the forces, then you started out with these set of steps. So um, it's very similar approach we are taking to circuits. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of circuit it is. It's, if it's a circuit problem, this exact same set of steps that we are going through will help you come up with a set of equations 
which you can then solve to completely determine everything to know about this.